Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me make sure that this camera is all clean. So I'm on my way to the pontoon to meet Summer and Sierra. We are about to take it to Norega Point. So we took you to Crab Island on one. We're gonna go to Norega Point this time on the pontoon to give you a little bit of a feel of kind of what we do besides Crab Island on hooked excursions. So I'm really excited. It's actually one of my favorite places to beach the boat. You're right there on the harbor. You're right across from Emerald Grand. To me, it's really, I like it better than Crab Island. You get to see all the boats come through and I'll give you some information about the restaurants too that are right there on the harbor, but it's definitely the spot to be, especially during super busy days. All the cool boats that come through, you get to see the fishing boats come in, come out. Sometimes they hold their fish up. So stay tuned. It's going to be a fun one. And it's supposed to be like 80 degrees today, which is so exciting. So pulling out that boat inflatable dock, got the inflatable paddle boards. We're ready to roll. So stay tuned. It's going to be a blast. And as soon as this light turns red, the next light I hit, we're putting the top down. How cool is that? He's huge. Holy. Pump, pump, pump it up. <laughs> It, it comes out that way anyways, but it also should be like... Y'all, I did my shoulders this morning. We definitely know how to do it this time. So we're gonna untie the boat and then put it on. So we don't go through the same routine as uh, the last time, but we're learning, so that's good.
So we made it to Norega Point. We've beached up the pontoon across from Emerald Grand. Harbor Walk Marina is where we pick up all our clients. We drop them back off for the day at Crab Island or the point. But you can walk this entire place. It's absolutely beautiful. We'll put the floating dock out soon and just relax. But it's a great sunny day and it's in the 80s. So stick around because there's lots of fun <laughs> to happen. What are you doing, Summer? I'm getting the hook for the floating dock. This thing is so awesome. I told you we would talk about some really cool restaurants in the area. My favorite would be AJ's. These burgers, seafood, they even have sushi, which is really, really good sushi. AJ's is definitely my spot. I also like East Pass, which is brand new. Awards for like its best burger and shrimp and grits. Margaritaville is right next to where we pick our clients up. So there's a lot to do here. A lot of good restaurants. A lot of people want recommendations on where to stay. I would say that Emerald Grand would probably be the best place to be, and there's a lot of reasons why. They have a spa, they have a home gym. Um, down here at Harbor Walk, they also have, on Monday nights, they do like a kids' disco where they use headphones and. Yeah, they're, and they're what all is like. It called? The silent disco. The silent disco. Yeah. And then on Tuesdays, they do Mardi Gras parades, and then on Thursdays, they also have the fireworks. We need to do the silent disco for a YouTube video. That would be insane. <laughs> I, I would get a crack out of that one. At the Emerald Grand, like if you stay there, we pick up right there at Harbor Walk Marina. So you can literally walk straight down from your room and walk straight to the boat. Super easy, convenient. You don't even have to get in a car and drive anywhere. Like it's absolutely perfect. No traffic. No traffic. No parking at all. spots. <laughs> Let's take a tour of the point. Okay, so right over here we have AJ's, and a little further down we have Telfin's, and then the next little blue building you see, if this boat would get out of our way, you could see Bratula's, and then just a little further down is Beauchamp's, which is my personal fave. You can walk down and around from where we were parked at. It's a little bit of a walk, but not bad. This is the pass, which goes out into the Gulf. The lifeguard station out here and a couple beaches that they made.
So it's also a really good place to snorkel. There's a couple people over there snorkeling. So and we have snorkel gear on board the pontoon as well. It's so pretty today. I like this because you can see people coming in and out of the pass, all the boats. Is it on me? Oh, it's yeah. still going. Okay. Yeah, it's recording. Nice. Okay, so the jetties. <laughs> I can't see it. The go. jetties are like somewhere. Right there, right there. <laughs> Over there, and that's where a lot of people go snorkeling. It's beautiful today. It really is. We made it back. Thought y'all were thought y'all got lost. Were we gone that long? All right. We're picking up to leave and head over to Redneck Beach now. Brittany's grabbing our floating dock. Leaving Coast Guard's coming up, okay? <laughs> but we are leaving Redneck Beach. Um, we're headed to Crab Island now. This is Redneck Beach. Out there is offshore. Over here is Crab Island. So it is so windy out here. I was gonna say we are about to head back to the dock, clean this boat up, and then go home and edit. But it's been a nice day, 80 degrees. So we went to Morega Point, we saw the Gulf, we saw the pass, we talked about restaurants, then we went over to Redneck Beach, walked around a little bit there, and then made our way here to Crab Island. So we're packing up. We 
plus no violations we made it back we got the boat clean motor flush got the boat floating dock all wrapped up ready to go back to a storage spot but we had a great time Noriga Point was great the weather was great Redneck Beach that was fun Crab Island of course always a good spot but thanks so much for coming back to my channel make sure you like subscribe and comment and stay tuned for more Fish with Brit videos.